family welcome back to our channel in case it's very first time here consider subscribing give the video a thumbs up and remember to drop a comment let me know what do you think about our today's video guys yeah remember we are on the road to 20k subscribers let's make it happen in case you haven't subscribed yet you are thinking about on what you can do yeah the only option is click that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on instagram rosekunix at underscore rose underscore kunix i don't know what am i talking about but ross underscore conics yeah we are on the road to 1k followers let's make it happen for your girl we are still on the pregnancy vlogs hope you haven't you have not been bored huh? or i'm not boring you guys yeah so today i am back with another banger and it's all about pregnancy remember you have seen the title right yeah so my water broke at 29 weeks yeah that is my second trimester yeah soon i'm going to tell you at how many weeks we are, are right now guys yeah so my water broke at 29 weeks i know you have questions what happened and why is it that right now you still have the pregnancy yeah it happened and listen to the story remember you have subscribed yeah so it happened this way at around 30 29 weeks not 30 29 weeks yeah my water broke and it's not that i strained or maybe i did something that was so strenuous or hard yeah i just went to the bathroom as usual i i took a shower and uh, after that i went to the bedroom just to wipe the water then on the process after wiping myself i saw the water pouring down and i was like what because at my age i've never such a discharge in my life like the water is running down my legs and i was like what's happening what's wrong with me yeah i was so worried about it yeah i so i started wiping the water before alerting people and even i thought maybe i have not wiped myself very well so i wiped and the water was still running down on my legs yeah so i wiped after wiping i didn't tell anyone i just finished doing so and then i was at my sister's place by that time and i told you i do stay with my sisters i gave you the reasons as to why i'm not at my or in my matrimonial home yeah so after wiping i shared with my sister my cousin was also there i told them i have seen water running down yeah so they were also worried and uh, they asked me if i have ever seen such a thing before i told them no this is the first time it's happening guys yeah so they told me to rest maybe they thought i uh, i was standing for i was standing for too long so i rested yeah i gave myself a rest so after resting they told me to observe if it will happen again so remember it started running down i wiped for some few minutes then it stopped yeah that's when i told them so they told me to rest a bit i rested yeah and uh, i never saw it again it was on a, it was on a saturday then i observed but it never came again so i told myself maybe it is something normal yeah so 
it was uh, the second day or the following day that was on sunday so i didn't see anything i was still observing if there is anything maybe i contact my gynecologist yeah so i observed on a sunday there was nothing but on a monday it happened again it started running down yeah the water like it's not something little like th there was a lot yeah so i again told my sister it has happened again she told me let's just contact a gynecologist so when i told the gynecologist that i have seen the water my water has broke and blah blah so he told me reach at the hospital as soon as possible because it was an emergency he told me that's not normal because the water is so important for the baby to swim in like when the water when the water comes out like all of it when it comes out it will be there will be a risk for the baby yeah so he told me come to the hospital as soon as possible and even he told me maybe i go to the nearest hospital but i just told him no i want to see you because remember i had some complications that i already shared with you about the mcdonald's teachers yeah so i told the doctor i just want to come and see you maybe you are the one who will help me out since you have been monitoring my situation yeah so the following day very early in the morning remember i saw it on monday so he said if you have said you are not going to the nearest hospital maybe just come tomorrow that was on a tuesday very early in the morning i did so so when i reached there he checked me and he saw the water was leaking so he immediately he wrote a referral letter to me to a certain hospital where i was admitted him yeah? and this is the video when we were in the ward yeah this is what was happening there and uh, about this video we took three not three seven days in ward yeah so they were monitoring me when i reached there i was given injections and he prescribed a certain hormone injection like for the baby to mature the lungs so that in case of anything when the baby comes out the baby is able to survive yeah so i don't know how that hormone is called you are injected so i was injected five five injections five injections yeah for the maturity of the lungs in case of anything just in case the water could continue coming out and the baby comes maybe the baby could be able to survive so i was injected i tell you this pregnancy journey has been so tough so tough to me but here we are hmm? here we are so i was injected for the first three days because i was being given the injections evening morning evening morning evening i i remember i was injected for three days and uh, the five injections were over and uh, my third day in ward i don't know what happened guys i really don't know what happened like when i was going to see the doctor i was a bit better even after being admitted i was a bit better i was just okay the only problem that i had was the water yeah my water had burst so when i reached there the third day the situation wasn't the situation wasn't and i was telling myself could, could i just re remain at home yeah maybe i wait for whatever will happen like the third day everything was worse on my side and the baby was not kicking i was feeling pains everywhere like no one could touch me 
I was not waking up. I was not sitting. I was not standing. Like I could not turn. I could not turn on my side. Like things were hot. Yeah, things were hot on my side. Then they was like, what happened? Even the doctors were very worried. They were worried. I just saw them. You know, doctors do give you hopes, right? But you just read on their faces like something is not right yeah they tried to give me painkillers i was injected i was given through fluids but things were not okay like they were just calling themselves a small meeting a small meeting and so they had to call to call my gynecologist who told them to admit me like who gave me the referral the admission letter so they called him they told him we've done this and that we've given her this painkiller and that but it's not working we really don't know what's happening with your patient and we are even worried so they came they told me we have tried our best and we have contacted your gynecologist who referred you here He's just about to give us the way forward, but hope everything will be okay. So I just stayed there. I was so hopeless and yeah, things were not good on my side. Even my husband was worried, my sister and my aunt, like people who were around me, all of them were worried about my situation. So after 30 minutes, my gyna instructed them, give her this painkiller. I like, I was given the strongest painkiller. They told me this is the strongest painkiller in the world. And I was like, hey, I've never heard of that. <laughs> so I was injected that thing. And after 10 minutes, I was just feeling dizzy. I was, I was just not myself yeah i was not myself and they told me it's gonna work like after one hour the pain started reducing and i was like what happened or is it the effect of the injections that i was given three days ago i really didn't understand what was going on so they were trying their best to control the water leakage yeah after being injected the water stopped so they were now managing the pains, yeah? Don't mind about the cock. So they were managing the pains, yeah? So remember that on the third day and I'm feeling like where the world is on my shoulders, yeah? So the strongest painkiller started working. It started working and uh, I started feeling... A bit better like the pains reduced and I, I told God oh God thank you so I was given the I don't know how it's called I've, re, I've, I've just forgotten but it is called baby kick chat something of that sort so I was to record every time the baby kicks remember I've just told you the baby stopped kicking like I was not hearing my baby kicking <laughs> so I was given that chat to mark if the baby is kicking so i marked it the baby was just okay and uh, that was it the fourth day the pains reduced so i was to be discharged on the fourth day but they told me since you still have those pains we have to monitor you <coughs> sorry for the cock <laughs> yeah so they were to monitor me from the fourth day to see how I'm improving with the pains before I go home, yeah? Yeah, so they monitored me the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day. Remember, I'm on the sixth day, but the pains are still there. Though not so much, but there were some pains. So... On the seventh day, at least, I was somehow better, though the pains were still there. Not the way I came to the hospital, yeah? So they just said, go home on this seventh day. Remember, we stayed in the ward for one good week. Yeah, just to monitor my the water leakage. And I was told, maybe the reason as to why the water 
started coming out is because sometimes it's because of infection sometimes it is because because of straining and other things but the main thing i was told was infection <coughs> yeah so i came home on the seventh day so we took seven days in the ward like remember in my fa first semester trimester what at semester hmm. remember in my first trimester i went to the theater but now the second one i'm going to the ward again just because my water broke what? so this pregnancy has been a journey yeah has been a journey <laughs> this cork now remember we are in the village but don't mind don't mind yeah so your girl is here and we thank god god is good all the time i always tell myself god is always good on me yeah like he has been there from day one he's still there for us i really appreciate i thank him so much thank you so much fans for those who have been concerned about me, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. So, right now, we are still progressing with our bump. Yeah. And we thank God for the gift of life with my baby. I really appreciate so much. So, thank you so much for tuning in. In case you have ever had such an experience, drop a comment. You know, I was asking people if they have ever had such an experience. Some of them told me they have ever had. And uh, I started having hopes like things are going to be okay on our side. Yeah. So, thank you so much. Let me show you how we are progressing. Yeah. So, here we are with our bum this is where we are guys and some of you have been telling me we got twins we are yet to know we are yet to know that guys so thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate for your support remember to subscribe like the video share it thank you so much for watching guys see you soon on our next one bye bye <laughs> Someone is looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs>